This won't be a long one, but I wanted to talk to you guys about something very serious. Y'all got your, uh, Sammy, you got your agenda in front of you? Did you got... Okay, they're on a, on a sales hiatus. Well, anyways, listen, so today is Firehouse Focus, Firehouse Focus. So I wanted to talk to you guys. I'm literally going to do this one in a quick quick run for you because I've been thinking about a lot of things. <clears throat> it's been a while since we did a CEO session or we've talked to, to you guys about some things, and I feel like obviously it's incumbent on me to keep you guys clearly focused on the, the, the big picture. I know you're all entrenched in a lot of heavy duties. And I know that meetings are, are heavy, but I wanna make sure that you understand this concept of firehouse focus. I'm sorry, fire hose focus, fire hose focus. So did you realize that many, many people, this is not funny, this is sad, many, many people in our country die from what we call loose fire hoses. 2011, a $4.5 million award in Pennsylvania, two people died of a loose fire hose. Crazy, right? 2016, two, pe two other innocent bystanders die of a loose fire hose. 2007, three die of a loose fire hose. Google it. It's crazy. And, and I really wasn't even thinking about the, the, the parallel to death with my speech of loose fire hose. Uh, or fire hose, hose focus until I just unfortunately just Googled loose fire hose. I wanted really what the world thought about loose fire hoses because I've seen them where they're just flailing all over. You know, they're just like you can't control them. The pressure is so heavy. The, the, the hose weighs six pounds. It's, it's, it's literally crazy when you think about a loose fire hose. And now as I Google it, I realize that, oh my gosh. People have died. People are dying to this day even of loose fire hoses. So I wanted to talk to you and I wanted to parallel the things that we're doing a little bit and the parallel the things that we are doing all the time in our life to what we would call a loose fire hose. And I want, I want to talk to you about these three points. I want you to understand that I want you to look at our mind and our jobs and our focus as if it was a fire hose. A fire hose. A fire hose. When, we, when a fire person wants to put out a fire... They literally take this six pound hose that has thousands and thousands of pounds of pressure and it literally takes probably two to three men to hold this hose and to point it at a fire to put it out to not only, to, 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 to save lives. So the three points that I want to go over real quick with you in a firehouse focus is I want you to look at one, number one, the force of nature within your brain. We're going to get through this really quick because many, 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 many months ago, we talked about um, your brain and the power of your brain and the power of everything that we're doing in pay serve systems and the power of everything we're doing at home with our children. Right, Shelby? All the things that we're doing, this brain of ours is really the ultimate weapon. And if you could for a moment, just kind of, kind of... Think outside of the box and maybe look at your brain as a fire hose. Because it really is. Did you realize that your brain can only think of one thing at a time? One thing. One thing. It's going 24-7, but it can only think of one thing at one moment at one time. And we talked about how that one thing kind of moves through your consciousness. And then all of a sudden, sometimes things seep into your subconscious. And once we have things in our subconscious, we're focused on that deal that Sam or Matt or laser like fire hose focused on. Or we're thinking about these deals that Tracy's laser, and she was up again till midnight last night with her laser fire hose focus. And she literally motivates me uh, when I think about things like this. Todd Trent is laser focused with fire hose focus. And I think we all have an understanding of really what I'm trying to say with what a fire hose and the power of where you point it and the force of nature in your mind and your brain and your subconscious is, is this absolute power and force of nature that we have inside ourselves, Shelby. You have, you're doing amazing things moving through your young life with all the things that are going on with children and family and you somehow balance it and work and Brittany's doing the same thing and Jen's doing the same thing and Carol's doing the same thing. And I know I'm going to leave Heather out or, or, uh, 
Abby or Jeannie or or uh, who we got out there, Lori. I mean, don't want to leave any of those people out because they're, they're, it's amazing. This number one is this force of nature is your firehouse focus. So your subconscious is your fire hose. Fire hose focus is your subconscious and your your ability to focus on the things that have to get done. And you know, when I think about Tracy, she's putting out fires, right? Laser focus, her fire hose focus. But the, the dangerous thing about the force of nature, this idea of your being able to program your subconscious now that we've talked about it and putting things in your subconscious that matter most to you in life, the things that you want to get done. Now we're going to point our fire hose at this process. But two, now I want you to understand, now we've got that in our minds and you're transitioning it not only from work, but to your life or from your life to work. We know we have that force of nature power too. I want you to choose to understand the difference between the two belief structures. I want you to understand which one you are. Are you an inductive believer or a deductive believer? Because that's the piece that we have to believe about. That's the piece that we're going to point our fire hose at. And we're going to be focused in that regard. So I want you to understand, are you an inductive believer, Carol? Are you an inductive believer, Brittany? Do you believe things on the face value and let them be proved wrong if that's the case? Or are you, in fact what we call a deductive believer. A deductive believer, maybe it's not bad, it's just one or the other, right? Tracy's more of a deductive believer. She's more of like, well, I'm not so sure about that, Todd. You're going to have to prove that to me, right? I'm not so sure about that idea. I'm not so sure that I want to believe that. You're going to have to show me that it works first. So which one are you? Are you an inductive believer or a deductive believer? Both of them are virtually fine. It's just that you have to make sure that you continue to believe through the process. Your, your, your fire hose has to decide that it's going to believe in that process, in that deal that is going to come on, right? That very difficult deal. We'll leave names out of this. But that very difficult, we have to be a believer that it's going to work. We just may have to believe inductively that on the face value that Sam sold it, that it will work, right? Or we're going to have to believe on the back end that we're going to have to see how the program works out as we build through it to believe that it works. But in both cases, you have to believe. You have to believe on the front end or be willing to have it proved to win or, or, or work on the back end. So this force of nature requires a subconscious, this idea of you to believe and to target your fire hose with focus has to not only take your subconscious to the direction, but it's got to take your belief structure to be recognized and point it at the same time. So now we've created this force of nature, right? When I say force of nature, I want you to understand that I'm talking about hurricanes. I'm talking about blizzards. I'm talking about earthquakes. I'm talking about tsunamis. I'm talking about volcano eruptions. I'm talking about big things that you can't even quantumly think of or understand in the back of your mind how God has put all that together in the virtual force of all those forces of nature because in our mind, our subconscious, and if our inductive and deductive belief structure, we have created a bigger force of nature than even those natural forces of nature. So here we are. Number one, the force of nature, we've recognized as fire hose focus for your force of nature. Number two, we, we've recognized your belief structure, your inductive or deductive. And last thing I want to talk about really quick here is this do not neglect to direct. Are you with me? Can you hear me, everybody? Do not neglect to direct. So here's the problem with this whole fire hose focus or this fire hose mentality. We understand we've got this force of nature and you've chose to believe me because you had an inductive belief structure that I've been telling you things that are true. Now you understand that this force of nature is true until we prove it wrong. But we've seen many miracles in pay surf systems. Tracy and I, can, there are countless miracles that have come through our force of nature with your force of nature to bring this company to where it's at right now, which is truly remarkable. We've survived, we've survived the, the, the housing crisis. We've, we've survived 9-11. We've, we've saw uh, the financial crisis and we've, we, we've, we've survived the COVID disaster in the world, right? 
So you, you have every right to have an inductive belief structure. Why wouldn't these messages work? Why wouldn't your force of nature work? Because we've seen it work for over 15 years in pay surf systems. So here's the, 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 the piece I really want you to have before we hang up here and close is do not neglect to direct. We know we have the force of nature. We know we've seen what God's done with our beautiful children. We've seen them, we see images of them all the time, 365 on the Facebook and all the things that we're doing around and we're celebrating those things. We're celebrating life. But to, and now we know that we have the belief structure. But last but not least, we sometimes forget to direct our fire hose. We, we neglect to direct the fire hose. We neglect to focus the fire hose. I do not want you to neglect to direct. I want you to elect to direct. I want you to elect to direct this fire hose, right? So get this image, right? I told you about the deaths in fire hose and this deaths in fire hose mentality in real life world this is the fact that if a fire hose is loose, and let me tell you, your force of nature is running in your brain 365 days a week. Your force of nature from your back of your brain to the front of your brain, and all these things are running. It's an open spigot, man. It's all that thousands of pounds of water force coming out of the hydrant on the street getting ready to put out a fire. You, there's no way you can stop that force of water. There's no way you can stop your force of nature. There's no way you can turn that hose off. And if two or three men aren't holding that fire hose and pointing it at the fire and electing to direct this hose, this nozzle, this force, this six pound hose, if they don't do that, then it's going to go everywhere. You have elected to neglect You've neglected to direct. There's nobody hosing, holding that fire hose. It's just spewing water and force all over and hitting innocent bystanders, crushing cars and crushing bicycles and, and people in its path. You see, because this force of nature is not either on or off. It's always on. And if you neglect to direct your force of nature... It's literally causing casualties around you. You have to elect to direct your fire hose, my friends. It's been a while since I've talked to you. But as a company, I am supposed to help you elect to direct as an organization. Your job as a department lead, as an employee, as a partner, you're all of the above. Your job is to elect to direct your fire hose. You're electing to direct it at home. You're electing to direct it at work. And all of this has to come together in one beautiful pie, right? One beautiful, amazing lifestyle, a harmonious workplace lifestyle. So let me let me just close this. Success is a condition, not a position. This condition of success that I want you in is your ability to elect to direct. There's no excuse for you now to understand the force of nature, Brittany, that you have running through the brain and your belief structure. And it's running, whether you want to direct it or not, it's running. Todd Trent, your force of nature, the things that you think of, the brain capacity you have is unlike anything I've probably ever witnessed. If you're not controlling your fire hose, there's a lot of people getting slayed, baby. It's incumbent on you to elect to direct your fire hose focus, Todd Trent and Tracy Saylor. You're so powerful with your force of nature, all of you. If you neglect to direct your fire hose, there's casualties. We're going to elect to direct our force of nature. And we're going to keep cruising on through this times in this world. And our business model is just crushing it. And I'm so proud of you guys. And so this is the part where I'm just going to say thank you very much. And I need all your claps so we can end this message. Can I get some claps and who was or something now? Come on. There we go. You know how I need that, that lift me up. All right, you guys, thank you very much. I hope I did it in an amount of time that's uh, good enough for you. So Tracy, would you please take this away for me?